Okay, so we're in GarageBand, and we want to find effects and plugins. So we access our tracks, which looks like at the top three horizontal lines with breaks in them. It'll change into a piano or drums, whatever track you're on. Then we want to click the three vertical lines with circles on them to open the effects, look for plugins and EQ, scroll down to plugins and EQ, and there we go. You tap edit. We already have a compressor. We can drag and move things around. Usually the compressor is good at the beginning though, so let's put that back there. We can add things by clicking on any of the blank spaces. A bit crusher is like Game Boy distortion. You know, chorus is uh, a doubling type of effect. It sounds watery. <laughs> let's see, we've got reverb. A uh, bit crusher there, let's see. Yeah, so that's it. You can go in here, you can have fun. Uh, trying out different effects and messing with the parameters. And let's just set up a little chain that I think might sound nice if you want to try copying it. Let's see, microphaser. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And again, you can slide the parameters to change how each effect sounds. And let's put them in the correct order. Usually distortions first, so bit crusher is a type of distortion. We like for... We can turn things on and off, too. Uh, so you don't want to hear everything all at once. Just a little blue power button up there. And I think we've got everything in the correct order. There we go. Have fun.